I've combined my beauty and lifestyle favorites because I didn't have enough beauty favorites for the month of November. So tons of really cool, but also random things. Let's jump right in. This is the Alani New Super Greens and Crystal Light Liquid Strawberry Lemonade. The Crystal Light Strawberry Lemonade is actually my favorite liquid crystal light flavor. And then the Super Greens have been my favorite way to get an extra dose of vegetables in the day. You just mix this with a cup of water. I put some of this in like three squirts it's not the most amazing taste in the world, but for being jam-packed with tons of vegetables and herbs and just things that are good for you, this doesn't taste that bad. My suggestion is to use this with like 12 to 16 ounces of water rather than less water because then you really taste like the greens. But this I feel like really cuts any vegetable flavor that you get from this powder. I'm making it sound so unappealing. I feel like taking this every day helps so much with my overall energy, my digestion. This helps keep everything pretty balanced. Um, It's got prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes. It's just a great way to get a lot of nutrition in. This is expensive, but you need one scoop and there's 30 servings in a container. So one will last you a month or more depending on how much you take it. But I really, really would highly recommend doing this or something like it. Pre-workout also from Alani New. I've talked about this before but I just love their pre-workout because it tastes really good the ingredients are pretty good and it doesn't make me feel unwell it just gives me enough of a boost and enough energy to get a really good workout in mentally also the process of taking pre-workout kind of gets me in the zone a little bit more so there's two versions there's the original pre-workout and then there's pump pump is stim free which basically means there's no caffeine in it and the normal pre-workout does have some caffeine i mix these two together actually and depending on your workout you don't need to take the full serving you can do like half and half if you want the breezeberry flavor from Alani New is like one of my favorite, favorite flavors, but the Whitney Simmons exclusives have got to be also my favorites. This is Watermelon Punch and Candy Blast. They taste so good. Watermelon Punch actually tastes like the Sour Patch Kids Watermelon Candies, which are my favorite and then the candy blast she actually based off of the giant nerds chewy candies and it does taste really similar to those i have not done resistance training in so long because i injured my knee pretty badly last year and it's just been so annoying to do anything with it but now i'm slowly starting to build up my resistance training a little more and so pilates has been amazing for that because it's a lot of of strengthening and toning but also stretching and it's very low impact if you do have an injury of any kind I've been doing Melissa Wood Health but I've also just been going on to YouTube and looking things up and there are so many amazing people out there doing free workouts that are incredibly effective so I would definitely recommend checking them out I have been using these Bala weights with my workouts they are one pound weights that you can strap on so you you can put them on your wrist, you can put them on your ankles. I just think that they're so effective because they're thin, they're sleek, they don't hurt, they don't chafe, and it's just actually so easy to be able to wrap something and slip it over your hand like this when you're doing workouts and not have to worry about holding on to the weight, especially on my ankles. It's just been really effective at adding a little more burn to my workout. You can get things like this off of Amazon, and I've tried ankle weights from Amazon but I just haven't really found ones that I loved and these just work so well especially right now with like holidays coming up you can totally find stores online that sell them with a discount or a coupon code and even if you're not doing like Pilates or workouts just wearing these on your ankles when you're around the house or when you're taking a walk it's just going to increase your workout a little bit more add a little more burn burn some extra calories it's just a great really useful low maintenance tool also fitness related are these Suzy B Fitness Bands. I love them. This is the light resistance and then this is the harder resistance. I put these around my legs whenever I'm doing squats or like donkey kicks, fire hydrants, um, bridges. It just adds resistance. It helps you focus the muscle group and it's a great way again to just increase the burn. But I really love them because they don't roll up. They just stay exactly where I put them and they stretch really nicely. They're rubber.
rubberized a little bit on the inside so they don't slide around. I've been using just the light resistance one. I'm not ready for the harder one, I don't think. These are the fitness bands of my dreams, black marble and white marble. Like if you know me, you know that so much of my stuff, like my laptop case is black marble. It is literally this. So it just also looks amazing and they're easy to travel with. So moving on from fitness, let's talk about snacks because <laughs> balance life's all about balance the first item i have is peppermint bark this is from fresh market and it's actually really good if you have a fresh market near you but honestly peppermint bark in general is just a favorite for me around this time like this is a holiday flavor to me i just love the dark chocolate bitterness the white chocolate creaminess and then the peppermint just that kick of mint and when i'm craving something sweet i find that if i break off a piece of this it's just decadent and rich enough which really satiates me and i think the mint for some reason makes me not keep going back to get other things because then my mouth feels fresh i don't know weird if you watch my last month's lifestyle favorites all of those favorites still stand for the record especially the snack ones still as addicted to all those i'll leave it here or a link down below but these are the chocolate coconut almonds from trader joe's these are by no means a healthy snack okay this is like a treat snack this is somewhere in between like a candy bar and plain nuts because this is chocolate covered nuts love coconut love almonds love chocolate this is another item where if i have like four i'm good do i go back again for like another three later maybe but for me my sweet saturation i have a sweet tooth but the saturation level is like pretty low it's actually really similar to like an almond joy without so much chewiness and i freaking love almond joys or bounty trader joe's never does me wrong also from trader joe's these are the spicy snack bar mix and the snack bar mix original these just came out i'm pretty sure they're just seasonal i'm not positive but they're delicious um the spicy one is a snack mix with sweet jalapeno pretzel pieces pasilla chili and sesame chips spicy cheese corn sticks spicy chili almonds and chile lemon corn nuggets and then the normal one is a snack mix with honey mustard pretzel pieces honey roasted peanuts corn chips with flax seeds cheddar rocket crackers honey roasted sesame sticks and chili lemon corn sticks they're so satiating when you are craving like chips like a savory crispy salty spicy snack this does it for me that spicy sweet jalapeno pretzel pieces or whatever i really hope trader joe's comes out with that as like its own pretzel snack because they are freaking delicious i'm a real snacker and if you watch my last favorites you definitely know this by now but those snacks oh so good. This is a little bit newer to my life, but I am so obsessed with it. It is the Pura Smart Home Fragrance Diffuser, but this is the one they did in collaboration with Nest Fragrances for the holidays. And this is the actual device. So this is a device that plugs into any socket and they come with little like wallflower plugins and you put both of them in or one of them if you want. You download the app and this device is completely controlled from your phone. It's also pet friendly, child friendly. That phone control is awesome because you can control how intense the fragrance is and you can set timers or a schedule for the fragrance where if you're only home during certain hours, you can set that schedule and it automatically will turn on during the day. You can create a night light with this like color wheel and you can change the color that lights up when it's on. This also would be an amazing gift for anyone this holiday season so if you're looking for something i would definitely recommend this and it's on the sephora website but you can also find it on bloomingdale's on neiman marcus tons of different department stores and all of them will have holiday sales so you can totally get this for a great price and that brings me to my next favorite which is the holiday scent from nest this is the pura refills because i am so deeply involved with this fragrance but this is like my signature holiday time scent now it has pomegranate pine mandarin oranges clove and cinnamon with a hint of vanilla and amber it basically smells like 
a Christmas tree with apple cider a little bit. There's like a spicy, warm coziness to it. And it makes you want to just curl up in comfy clothes on the couch and watch Harry Potter. And this is seasonal. So now is the time to get it. And it just smells like joy and comfort to me. It's so, so good. Keeping with home scents, the new Forever Mood candles launched. This is Jackie Ina's candle company with her fiance and I'm not gonna lie the first launch I got it but I was kind of on the fence about them but then she launched a second collection and I think her third collection is actually live right now they all four look the exact same this one is skinny dipped which actually might be my least favorite and even that's still good it smells like chocolate vanilla and like almost grapefruit in here it's like a sweet, a little bit fruity kind of a scent. So this one is called Hey Big Head, okay? And it's like a coffee scent. Coffee, sweet, warm, delicious. This is how much I've burnt it. It's barely burnt and it was the perfect amount of scent. It didn't make me feel sick. It wasn't overbearing. I worked out with this on and I actually really loved it. And then I put it out. I left. I was working in a different part of the house. And then I came back to my room like way later in the evening. The candle had not been burning all day. My entire room smelt like this candle. I was so shocked. I even double checked to see if I had like left it on. No. And it's barely been burned. It is so, so good. And then you have Grown Folks Business which is also so nice. It's like white flower, jasmine, something sweet, sexy. Like this is definitely a sexier fragrance. We Not Lincoln is kind of like cinnamon, like big red maybe. Um, is that what the gum is called, big red? But it's cinnamony, a little like gingerbready even, vanilla, cloves, nutmeg. This actually kind of smells like the holiday season too a little bit to me, but they're such good candles. They burn beautifully. They last a really long time. This is a warmer. I call it a candle warmer because that's all I use it for, but technically you can put your coffee mug on it to keep your drinks hot. I love using this for candles because it allows me to smell the candle without having to worry about a flame and my candles last so much longer when I use this because it's not burning off the wax. It's really just melting it and I've been using this with stronger candles so that they are not as intense as when I burn them, especially in smaller places and I feel more comfortable leaving this on in like a different room than an open flame just in case. You never know. It's like 2020 has been crazy. I really Really don't need to be leaving open flames in rooms that I'm not sitting in. This razor, holy smokes. This is the Billy razor and the shave cream. I would not have ever gotten this if it wasn't for one of my friends telling me that it felt like she was shaving with lotion. Like this was just lotion, which sounds so weird, but that was all it took. And she also said it was like the smoothest, closest shave. Like she totally sold it to me and she is not sponsored by it. She was so right. There's something about the thing around it that makes it feel like you're just sliding across lotion. It's so smooth. It's really one of the closest shaves. And I actually use men's razors because the more blades, I felt like it was a better shave than like my Venus razors back in the day. It's a subscription service too. So you can input how much you shave and they send you um, an automatic replenishment of the blades. It's so affordable. And I got the shave cream with it just to try it. And I really do like this. It's no parabens or sulfates, no synthetic fragrances, and no animal testing. It's vegan, non-GMO, and gluten-free. Listen, if you shave, you need to try this. So if you know me or watch my videos, you already know that I love fragrances and I have been so into hair mist and hair perfumes recently. I started using the Kayali Deja Vu White Flower Hair Mist and that's where the love affair started. This smells just like the perfume. 
So it actually has gardenia, jasmine, absolute, um, orange flower, tuberose, and vanilla. The normal fragrances have alcohol in them, so they can really easily dry out and damage your hair. But hair mist and hair perfumes generally shouldn't have alcohol in them. And actually some of them have like keratin in them, so they're actually good for your hair. When I spray perfumes on my hair, the fragrance just lasts longer. I feel like it gives me this like aura of scent. Every time I move, it's like unlocking new levels of the fragrance and I love that. I always want to be smelling good and this is a great way to do that. Also, if you want to try a fragrance that's really expensive and they have the hair mist version, it's a great way to try the fragrance because they're usually significantly less expensive, but you still get that scent. Fragrances in your hair should last you a pretty long time because your hair is a little more porous, so kind of like takes in the fragrance. If you work out, this is a great way to make sure that no matter how much you sweat or what you smell like, you're always gonna smell at least a little bit good because this is in your hair. I really love the Kali one. It's potent, it lasts a little bit, goes a long way, and it smells so, so delicious. A quick shout out to Grande Lash Serum. I'm not gonna go over it again because I've talked about it so many times, but these are my natural lashes, thanks to Grande Lash Serum. Unreal, best ever the real MVP. As for mascara, my go-to combo has been this for a little while now. The Grande Primer Lash Primer is my favorite primer period because it has the lash plumping peptides in it. It has the things that help your lashes stay strong and conditioned and grow. It always makes any mascara I use so much more voluminous. It helps with length and maintain curl and decrease flaking. And when I use this, I always end up using less mascara but getting an amplified effect. The mascara is the Marc Jacobs at Lashed Mascara. It gives you volume and this beautiful length and lift and curl. The wand is also great because it's tapered at the end. It's more of a classic wand, but you can get into all the little corners. This is two coats of mascara with the Grande Lash Primer. I feel like I'm wearing like a little like accent lash even. If you were gonna try one of these things, I would say try the primer because again, the primer makes every mascara look so much better. Jamie Genevieve, if you don't know her, is an influencer. She's a YouTuber. She has an Instagram channel and now she has a makeup line called V and oh, she nailed this. I love her style and I love her personality, but she is like the queen of the sultry, insane eye look. So when she came out with an eyeshadow palette, I knew it was gonna be good and it does not disappoint. It's like a leather kind of effect to it. And I believe all her products are, yeah, vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance free, paraben free, and gluten free. I actually don't know if the lipsticks are fragrance free, but they are gluten free, vegan, all that. This is the Essentials palette, so beautiful. It really is the perfect like Essentials palette. And she created it to work like this with the giant mirror on the back because she was saying in an interview that she uses the eyeshadows and then can just flip it and use the mirror here. It's a really good full size mirror so you can see your entire face. One, two, three shades are shimmer or glitter metallic, and then the rest are matte. They're so pigmented, so creamy, so easy to blend out. This is the type of palette where if you needed one palette to do everything and you're a warm tone kind of person, this is all you need. I feel like a traitor because I've been raving about the Makeup by Mario Matte's eyeshadow palette for a while now. While I still love that, this is really the essentials because it still has shimmer shades in here and you have a little more variety because there are some like warmer tones, this yellow, this amazing color right here is like such an insane eyeshadow crease color. And I actually mentioned that in the Makeup by Mario palette that they had a similar color, that olive -y color, and it's hard to find. Found it. All of the eyeshadows in here are also way bigger than I was expecting. Besides eyeliner, this is the only thing I have on my eyes today. These shimmery shades too. They're so creamy and reflective. And I like that the darker ones almost kind of come across as like a 
tinted top coat because I think they're more versatile this way. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, everything I have on my face and everything I'm talking about will be in the info box down below. Daisy London came out with another collection with Estee Lalonde and I love Daisy London, love Estee's collections. They are actually my favorites from Daisy. I picked up like all of the rings in this collection because they're all chain rings and they're so beautiful. This is what the rings look like. And when I say that they're chains, they're literally chain rings, which I love because they just melt into your finger almost where they move with your finger they sit so nicely on the skin there's different types of chains the cuban figaro box curb chains i just think they look so good by themselves and especially when layered with like more dainty pieces that's how i love to dress and wear my jewelry like mixing up dainty with edgy with chunky with delicate it just is my vibe. They are a little more expensive, but I love the Daisy London quality. I wear them literally every single day. Last favorite, my Audible books of the month. Um, If you know me or you have watched my favorites videos, you already know that I'm obsessed with Audible. I listen to it in the car when I'm working out sometimes, when I take my dog for walks, um, and when I'm doing anything in like the house, like cleaning or organizing. And this month I actually flew through a bunch of them. So one of them was the henna artist i'm pretty sure it's like part of reese witherspoon's like book club the concept of the story is literally about a henna artist who does henna for high society in india and it's her life and the things she gets into family troubles and all the dynamics and it just was super good and easy to listen to and interesting. The other book was Call Your Daughter Home. It was so good. I feel like that one was like an O Magazine suggestion. I'm not positive, but it's another like family dynamic kind of story and it touches issues of race and culture and socioeconomic standing and the intricacies of all those relationships, family secrets, it was great to listen to and the narrators did a great job in that one too. And the last one I listened to is Little Secrets. It was good. It's a thriller movie. Movie. That's why I listen to Audible because in my mind it's like there's a whole movie happening but I'm just listening so I can do other things. But Little Secrets was a crime thriller book. It was entertaining. It was an easy listen. It kept a good pace and the narrators were great. Let me know what you have been loving recently so I can try out more goodies for next month or the future at any time. But until my next video, thank you as always so much for tuning in and I'll catch you soon. Bye.